Hey guys, back here again. So a couple months ago, maybe a year ago, not sure, a while ago, uh, I did a little demonstration and review for uh, Juggia's training mod pack. And um, I know you guys like that kind of video for the mods. So it's been a really long time since that uh, video that I did and the mod pack has been updated significantly since then. There's a lot of new features. Um, I have actually been meaning to make this video for a while, but I had problems with my computer and getting the SD card into it and everything. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing this video to demonstrate the new version, which as of the time I'm making this video is version 3.3. And uh, the mod creator, again, is Juggia. That's the pronunciation based on his Twitter. I'm glad I can finally get that right. Uh, you can check him out uh, there. I'll link it in the description, and the mod pack will be also linked in the description and in his Twitter. Anyway, so the cool thing about this mod pack, uh, it shows you... Uh, on the screen what you're looking at. So I'm using Omega Battlefield so you can see in the background the words. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the up taunt. So this mod pack for those who are unfamiliar uses taunts to cycle through like the various functions of the mod pack uh, which is a really clever method. So anyway the up taunt is going to cycle through the main modes of the mod pack. So the first thing that we're on currently is red. Uh, you, as you saw Fox was red in the beginning before I pressed the shield button. So the red is full mods. It says full mods all hitboxes and overlays are active. Other taunts can be used for other actions. So as you see, I move around, uh, you see we have the hitbox uh, visual visualizations. That's always been a hard word to say. Uh, so for it doesn't work for every move, like you see the lasers don't have it. Um, but most moves are going to give you um, hitboxes and then you can also see like states. Like you see when I grab the ledge, uh, you, I'm like purple when I'm invincible, when I get up, and so on and so forth. So that's the full mods, and you can also access all the other functions of the mod pack, which I'm going to get to from this. Anyway, cycling through again on the up taunt, the next is green, which is visual hitboxes off, so you can still use all of the functions of the mod pack, but your hitboxes look normal, which is nice. I like to use this setting um, myself, um, because I like to see everything the way it normally is, but with the still be able to do the other things that we will get to. Um, and uh, next thing is uh, blue, which is input display. Uh, so we cycle to this. So now they added this little like weird circle kind of thing background to it. Uh, I'll actually show you closer up for this. Mm, maybe just normal. Uh, I liked it before without that background, but that background is supposed to make it easier um, to see like what your inputs are. But you can see like there's a representation like that's the A button, that's the B button. It shows that I'm holding it down. You can show that I'm holding like a direction on the control stick. For some reason, it doesn't work with up, like straight up. Um, it could be tap jump related, I don't know. And you see we also don't have the like hitboxes in this. And you can see there's for the R button. And it shows you all your buttons and, uh, whoops. Uh, anyway, so, uh, and then white is vanilla. That's the last one. And um, the, uh, the cool thing about the um, hit stun, excuse me, the input display is that you can use it on replays if you have, there are two versions of the mod pack that it gives you. There's one that's training mode only, so you can use it online because it doesn't affect regular smash. There's also a mode that affects regular smash, and then you can use that if you want to uh, have your replay shown. In case I forget to mention it though, uh, if you do opt for just the training mode only pack, or even if you're using it in training mode regardless, he has updated it to allow rage to work in training mode, so uh, you will see uh, you know, uh, you will see rage apply to your character uh, in training mode. So anyway, uh, sorry if I'm talking quickly, guys. There's a lot of functions to the mod pack, and I, I typically go way too long on these kind of videos. So I want to try and, uh, you know, be as succinct as possible just to show you everything that the mod pack can do. Um, okay. And, yeah, so let's move on to the side taunt. So I'm going to go into um, the green because this is where I like where uh, all the hitboxes look normal and we're just going to see the other things we can do. So the basic thing of the side taunt, uh, as it always has been, is DI. So um, it starts off probably on white, which is normal DI. Um, well, I'll show you briefly. Does it still show on this? Let me see. Okay, it doesn't show you on this, so for this I'm just going to leave it in normal camera. So you see there, I just press that and the arrow, I'll, I'll recycle it just to show you guys again. Well, as you can see, as I cycle through the side taunt, you see these various like uh, little arrows or whatever you want to call them coming off of Fox. Fight is normal. Uh, so as I press it, it cycles, that's DI away, DI up and away, DI up, in and away, uh, in and up, in, down and in. Uh, down and down and away and then we have some randomizers. This is complete random DI out of all the options they just showed. Uh, this is random DI in or out and this is like random DI in or out or, or no DI is also part of that random and then it goes back to normal. So it'll give a little demonstration. Um, well, I'll show you what, eh, it's not really worth showing the turning it off because the CPU does weird things in training mode but like this is Mario, just normal DI is kind of like up and away I guess. 
and uh, we set it to away. So now he actually goes away. Uh, I'll put this percent back to zero so you can see what that's uh, looks like normally. So that's like actually what you want. And then uh, you want to do to go up. I should be able to get an up air from this. Yeah. And um, so that's basically the DI. You could set that, and that carries over. I did have a, a slight problem with it with uh, one of the the DI functions when I was carrying it over to other settings. But as far as I'm con uh, as far as I can tell, this side taunt uh, DI will continue. I'm gonna leave it on away so we can test that um, when we switch to other uh, settings on the mod pack. Okay, so anyway, uh, that, that covers the up taunt and the down taunt functions of the mod pack. They can cycle through the up taunt, as I said, is the various modes. And the uh, side taunt cycles through DI, regardless of what mode you're in. Well, actually, not regardless of what mode you're in. Sometimes the side taunt is used for other things, as we will get to right now. So the next thing is the down taunt, which has a lot of special features and a lot of the coolest parts of the mod pack actually right here. So um, let's see, I pressed it, but I'm gonna get back to white because I did press it before by accident. Uh, as you can see, it cycles through that, which I'm gonna probably show you again. Anyway, so none is, here we go. And to start it off, the next one is, uh, they're calling it cyan, is the color, cyan, however you pronounce that. I know the color, I just don't know exactly how to pronounce it. Anyway, uh, buffer air dodge. So now when I throw Mario, he's gonna air dodge uh, on the first possible frame. And uh, let me double check with his DI to make sure he's still DIing away. And yeah, he is. So, and he's going to air dodge as soon as possible. So we can see that if he DIs away... Actually, I forget. It's Fox specific. I think you might be able to back air him if you're like really precise, but that's not really the point. But the point is you could check that. Uh, so if you wanted to test something like, can I back air Mario here? Or like, you can practice a frame trap. Like, okay, you know, like he air dodges there, so you dash attack him. So that, that's already been in the mod pack, but that's really useful uh, as is. Anyway, um, then cycling through again on the down taunt function. The next is purple, which is buffer attack, uh, mash attack there. So this is cool. So when we're on this one, the side taunt is not going to work for DI. It's going to let us choose an attack. So as you're going to see, I'm going to start pressing the side taunt, and we can choose anything that we want Mario to mash. So fair, we can have him mash bear, and mash up air, dare, neutral B, side B, up A, up B. I'm going to do up B just to test out, because that's like one of the things that like uh, is a good combo breaker for Mario. So yeah, you see, he's stopping me right there before I can fair him. Uh, and I'm gonna go through all of them until we get back to whatever we started with. Down B, Nair, Fair, and there we are again. Uh, so obviously only the options that he has in the air. We could even have him do an absurd option like that, which serves no purpose, but he still matches it. And as you see, even on this, and, and uh, the, the uh, Jugga who created the mod pack put extra attention into making sure that people shield always. So you see he does that and he's going to shield as soon as he lands. Like, uh, and a lot of other functions that becomes more uh, useful and more reasonable to have there anyway. Uh, so that's purple on the down taunt which is buffer attack. So next we're going to move down to green which is mash jump. Self-explanatory. I'm going to grab him if I can actually just grab him. And uh, he's going to mash jump. So you can see again you can test to see if something's a 50-50. If you... Uh, if you, if you can get something to hit them um, when they jump, but not when they're set to air dodge, then you can pretty much confirm that it's a 50-50. I still, I'm pretty sure that the backer is true on Mario with air dodge, but it's precise. I forget, there's a chart that tells you that for Fox. Doesn't really matter, but uh, for all intents and purposes, let's say I couldn't back air him when he was set to air dodge because I wasn't getting it, but I was able to back air him when he was set to jump, so we can call that a 50-50, even though it probably isn't one. Um, okay, so that's green, which is buffer jump. Next, we're going to move to red, which is spam option. So this is more so um, not necessarily when you hit the character. It's just in general, the character is going to spam an option constantly. So I'm going to read you what he says. It says characters will continually spam a given option whenever they can. Choose the option with the side taunt when this taunt is active. Choose from air dodge, jump, aerial, specials, normal, spot dodge, and rolls. Uh, roll randomly left or right is the roll setting. So now I'm going to cycle through them on the side taunt. Uh, and we're going to see what he can be set to. So there he is set to jump. Uh, now he's set to nair. So I guess that only works when he's in the air. So if I throw him up in the air, he's probably just going to mash nair. Yes, he does. And uh, as you see, he was still set to di away. I, I think that inflicted why he went away. Let's see, does that work if I throw him? Is he going to drift to the left again? Yeah, he is. So it seems like the di setting continues for the drift in this variation of the pack. Uh, now he's set to fair. You get the point. If I throw him up in the air, he's going to do it. Any of these air, uh, options when he can. There, and let's get back to grounded options. Uh, we can have him do things like this. He basically just said him. He's just going to do it over and over again. And as you see, he's still drifting back because I have him set to DI away. Uh, down B, so he can charge flood. And then use the flood and then charge it. I'm not going to have him do that. Okay, jab, you can have him. You know, all the moves. 
as you can see. Uh, let me get this off of here, sorry about that. Down tilt, F smash, D smash, you get it. All the moves he can do. Uh, he can grab, this. can he have him do throws? No. He can have spot dodge and the roll is supposedly random. Yeah, it seems pretty random to me. Air dodge again will be when he's in the air. You might be wondering what's the difference between, uh, you know, this and uh, the other function. And uh, it's basically just that he'll they constantly mash the option. It's not that he's just mashing it out of hit stun. So anyway, I'm going to go to the next option on the down taunts, which will disable this. This, is, this only works while you're in the um, purple mode. The next one is going to be blue, which as you can see, it says random tech. Um, oh, excuse me, purple. Uh, purple is random tech, and the red was spam option, my bad. Anyway, so this is purple, which is random tech, so that means uh, in a tech scenario, uh, the characters are going to do something um, random, and uh, random includes uh, missed tech, and when they do missed tech, they are going to do a random getup option out of it. Can I get a tech out of this? Okay, yeah, there you see. So he did roll away, and you see he buffers shield out of it, so always to show if you can get the punish or not. Um, and uh, that's probably... Actually, yeah, he's going to attack after anything because he's not going to be mashing any other option. And you see there he did a get-up attack and shield it after, work, after the miss attack. So really good to practice. Like, um, like for example, uh, in this situation, I can go for this. And I think he did miss tech there, so I was able to get the up smash. Uh, you get the picture. You can really practice tech chasing really well. And there's actually options that we're going to get up to that allow you to force uh, percents to be exactly where you want them, including rage. So that's going to be really helpful if you want to practice a specific setup uh, that involves a tech chase or not. Anyway, so that was purple random tech. The next is blue, which is random ledge. And uh, as you might expect, uh, he's going to do random options from the ledge. I don't really have to have this Set for anything there, so yeah, let's just get him to grab the ledge, and you see there he does roll, shields, and there again they're going to buffer shield after. If he does jump, he's supposed to air dodge out of it, um, so let's see if we can get him to jump. Yeah, that's really good, so you can practice again. Um, and it just does shield after everything, so you can really just practice, uh, you know, your punishes on the getup. That's, a, again, a previous returning feature from uh, the mod pack, but I believe as, the, as of the time I last did the video, there was no um, buffer shield for that, so that's really cool. Okay, so the next uh, down taunt function is orange one and orange two. These are gonna be the damage functions. So I'm gonna return the damage uh, in the native training mode uh, to zero to show you what we can do from here. So when we're in this function, it's damage plus 10. So I'll read you the description here. It says, when this toggle is active, side taunt will increment the opponent's percentage by 10. Use this to practice combos with rage. Note that when active, all characters will show their decimal of percentage when idling. Also, lock your own percent with up taunt when this toggle is active. Uh, the character who locks their percent will spawn at uh, the locked percent until unlocked with the same up taunt. All right, so to clarify what that means, when I press side taunt, it's going to go up by 10, up by 10, up by 10, and uh, let's see, uh, where does it say about locking? Also lock your own percent with up taunt when the toggle is active. So I guess um, if I wanted to, uh, let's say, move this to 6, uh, and I press up taunt, lock percent, and now I do this, all right, I'm not sure. I, it is changing my percent still, so maybe it, it just means that this won't change my percent. Uh, maybe if like the person controlling the other character presses it, it will lock theirs. But anyway, yeah, we can still move in increments of 10 here, and um, then uh, use my own percent with the native thing to control that. And anyway, the second version of this is... Um, and I can unlock percent there. And the second version of this is... Um, the increments of one, so same principle and pres pressing side taunt to increment one. By the way, you can cancel taunts in this, so uh, it's not like you have to wait for the animation of the taunt to end to do these functions. All right, the next thing is infinite shield. So they added two uh, functions uh, as opposed to the last variant. The last variant was infinite shields, but it wouldn't force uh, opponents to hold shield is what I should say. So now infinite shield does force them to hold shield, which makes a lot more sense. As of the last time I, I had this, I had to have my pro controller sitting upside down so it would hold the button down and blah blah blah. But you don't need to do that anymore so you hold shield automatically so you can practice you know all your shield pressure and you know what have you. Um, of course uh, it's worth noting that um, when they are set to this uh, you want to factor in that their shield is not going to get smaller after you hit it so it's like it's in other words it's much easier to hit uh, like a big shield like the shield is actually higher than Mario's height at this point. Um, so 
Yeah, and then when we cycle it down one more, it's just hold shield, and as you'll see, it'll get smaller, uh, and eventually pop, like so. So if you want to practice uh, infinite shield with a smaller shield, you'll first have to go to this setting to get their shield to be smaller, and then cycle back to um, the other function, which actually was easier when they didn't um, hold shield, but you can, you can just have them hold shield uh, on control if you want it to get smaller and then set it to infinite shields to leave it held on um, a smaller shield if you want to practice pressuring a smaller shield because that is really useful to practice uh, pressuring not just a full shield but shields at different sizes and that is all the functions of the down taunt so that would be pretty much the everything that you're going to have in the mod pack but as you can see that offers so much uh, potential you can do so many different things with it um, Pretty sure I've, I've demonstrated as much as you guys would want to see. You can see all the controls and how it can happen. You have the buffer air dodge right there, and you still have the DI, and you can have them set to random ledge if you want. Um, the mod pack is just really comprehensive. You can see even the respawn is instantaneous. They come right back after you take a stock. And I just want to make sure I didn't forget anything. I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. Uh, and again, there are two variants, one that you can use in regular Smash if you so choose and one that is only in training mode and uh, either way you can use it in training mode uh, when you get either variants of the pack so again huge huge shout outs as always to Jugia. i hope i'm pronouncing that right um, for creating this mod pack and for the constant efforts to improve it and always listening to the community uh, his twitter is at Jugia. let me make sure i got the at right here it will be in the description but it's at Jugia j-u-g-e-e-y-a on Twitter. Uh, he's the guy behind all of this and uh, I'll also link the mod pack in the description as I said. And that is going to be it for this video. Uh, guys, I'm going to be making a lot more videos soon if you enjoy this kind of stuff. Uh, mostly this kind of like mod demonstration as well as um, you know tech videos. I'm going to be having pumping out the videos until Smash for the Switch is on its way or is here I should say. So let's get let's get the rest of Smash 4 out of the way until then guys. So I would hope you subscribe if you want to see that kind of stuff. Either way, thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.